I was shouting, she was coming close to me, coming close to me, coming close to me. Before I knew what happened, before I could even say Jack Robinson again, why would you do that? It is not right. This woman just tear me one slap. channel and how are you all doing today if you are new welcome good up please this is not my normal setting although i wish it's my normal setting because it's so comfortable this video is going to be a story time and whenever we get to the story times on this channel it's going to be on the bed this story is going to be about a fight i had with a hostel mistress when i was in high school so now let's get into our story go to boarding school a hostel mistress is that person that is in charge of watching over the students while in the hostel. This woman I'm going to talk about, let's call her Mrs. Oompa Loompa. This is how she looks like. This um, event happened when I was in SS3. SS3 is basically like your grade 12. It's like the last class you have before you enter university for those who are not in Nigeria. While you're in SS3, you get to write exams like WAEC, NECO. Those are the exams that will take you into the university. It's just like SAT for those that don't live here or GCSE. Now we're writing NECO. We're just in school to write exams. We're not in school for classes, nothing. Just to write exams and go back home. The day this event happened, right? I had an exam the next day and I decided that let me just go to the library a day before and prepare. I took myself and I went to the bedroom to go and bath. I poured water on my body, I've used to my bath to start bath. I just had somebody locking the bedroom. Before I can even say Jack Robinson, the person already locked the bedroom. Then I had the person shouting at other people that they should go for assembly, blah blah blah. It was Mrs. Oompa Loompa's voice that was shouting. I was just like, ooh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to think too much about it. I wanted to have a good bath. When I finished bathing, I just peeped through the window of the bedroom and I saw that, oh, they are done with assembly. People came to eat. I just saw some juniors. So I started calling their names Junior this, Junior that. Help me to call Mrs. Wumpa Loompa. Oh, she locked me in the bedroom. And juniors are wicked when they get the opportunity to, especially when you are their own and when you need them to help you. That is when they will not repay you for all the evil you've done for them. These juniors were just giving me attitude. They're like, maybe when I finish eating, maybe when I finish doing this, maybe when I finish doing that. So luckily for me, like 30 minutes later, this woman I entered into the bedroom. So I packed all my things. I was about to leave the bedroom. And I was coming out of the bedroom. The woman said, I should better stay back inside that bedroom. Oh, that. That is where I'm going to be throughout the whole day. I was like, eh? Throughout the whole day. Mm. So now that's how I just went back gently. Because I knew even if I come forward, this woman will not allow me to go outside. Because she's wicked like that. She will not allow me to go outside. She stayed back inside the bedroom. I sat on my bucket. I started thinking that, okay, when is this woman going to release me? I stayed in that bedroom for over four hours. Over four hours, I sat on my bucket. I was just looking. You know that there are some times when you now bath finish and then you are now in one place, you've not creamed your body, your body will now be scratching you. And then my body was scratching me there. I will bath again. And that's the thing wondering that why would somebody be so wicked to lock me inside the bedroom for over four hours? What if I died? No, God for pieces. What if I fainted in the bedroom? Eh? And then I need someone to what's that word that all these people used to say, wake me up, you get. How will I wake up? That's not even the worst part. So with that anger in me, somebody now came, came to open the bedroom and I walked out of the bedroom. I went to dress up and I was like, just let me go to the library to go and read. I was very angry. So coming downstairs from the hostel and I saw the woman outside with her remaining power pop girls, aka the remaining hostel mistress. I was so angry. And I was just like, just let me pass, just let me go. Just walk by her. I'm not going to greet her. So she will know that she has done something bad to me again. Man now saw me like she sighted me. I was like, you beside your next time. I'm going to lock you longer than that though. You should be thanking God that I haven't released you now. I was just so angry. The way I was angry, I just shouted. Like when I mean shout, shout this one. The way I shout, you know when you are shouting and then your voice has cracked. You are not like, ah! you get that kind of thing. But that's the highest I can do. I cannot beat that. The way I was even shouting, people heard me. Like the many SS3 that were also, they just came down to that. What is happening downstairs? Security stood that were outside. They ran inside. Like, what is happening? And then I was like, Mrs. Oompa Loompa, 
Why will you lock me in the bedroom for four hours? Don't you know I'm a small child? That time I think I was like 15 or so. Don't you know I'm a small child? I was just lamenting about this over four hours that she locked me inside the bedroom. I was shouting. She was coming close to me. Coming close to me. Coming close to me. Before I know what I'm going to do, me one slap. <laughs> And you know the type, this is one thing to slap somebody with this hand. It's another thing to slap somebody with this side. When they slap you with this side, you are coming in contact with the knuckles. You are coming in So it is powerful. And this woman is big. She slapped me. She didn't see me slap like that. And do you know the funniest part? She was about to go the second round and give me the next one. I just dodged it. I said, sure. So within that period, my head was like, did I just receive slap? So my head came back up. So I was not shouting again. I held my I, oh god, Busaya. I held my face like this. I was shouting. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my sufferings, oh my troubles, oh my hopes, oh my aspirations, oh my. I went back upstairs. I went back upstairs. Let me relax my face. Two hours later, I mean like two hours later, I decided that let me go to the library to go and read. I think it's around like two, and the library closed like five. I couldn't get to read that environment. So I went to the library. When I got to the library, I've never spent up to one hour in the library, maybe like 30 minutes later. Somebody just came that ah, they've been looking for me up and down. The, the head of the hostel mistress is looking for me now. The head of the hostel mistress is worse than Mrs. Umpalumpao. The head of them is scary, eh? Then I left. I was in my houseway because we don't really do school stuff, if you remember what I said. And I went to go and meet the woman. I now got there. When I now got there, the woman now looked at me with disgust. She was not like, I should go and dress up. I should wear my school uniform. Me and Mrs. Umpa Loompa are going to visit the principal about what happened. In my mind, I felt like I had a good reason for shouting. I had the feeling that I can support myself because nobody should lock somebody in the bedroom for four hours. Now, when we are when you get to the principal's office, you have to wait with the secretary. And where the secretary stays is very close to where head of teacher stays. When we got there, all those HODs, they saw me and they're like, ah, what's up? What's up? Ah, we came to see the principal. So that's how one of them said I should come into the office. I should come into the HOD's office. So I came into the office alongside Mrs. Umpa Loompa. So someone answered that Mrs. Umpa Loompa should tell them the story of what happened. This is where the problem, this is where everything will start getting shaky. Is that in Nigeria, most of the people always believe that the elderly person is saying the truth. And whosoever you are that you are subordinate, you are younger than that elderly person, right? They will just ask you, so is she lying? Is she, is she saying the truth? If you cannot say that an elderly person is lying now. And Mrs. Umpa Lupa started that story. This one is what they call revised standard version. This woman revised, it's like, this woman dreamt of something else that had happened. After this woman started that, me, she told me to leave the bedroom and I didn't leave. So she locked me inside the bedroom. And then when I, few minutes, few minutes, so she said a few minutes later, she now came to me, opened the door for me. And then when I came downstairs, this told me to even tell her thank you. That I just started shouting at her that, Mrs. Umpa Loompa, how dare you? Who do you think you are? Can you do that to your daughter? That only God will judge you. For what? Fuck you lying. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. I was already like, yes, let's go to the principal. I have what I'm going to use and support myself. Let's go, let's go, let's go. When I do, just say, yeah, what this what the woman was saying. I was like, so if we're in front of the principal, this is what the, thing the woman will say. You now use all this story against me. It's not be like you're shocking me to graduate. That's why I'm rude. You know, it's when you are, you're about to graduate, they are looking for things to pull you back. Of them, all those HODs together. I say, yeah, uh, is it true? That's why I now enter that dilemma. Should I say she's a liar, or should I say she's not a liar? Or just like, no, it's not like. I'm sorry, ma. I just looked at her and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm going to even leave that area and then because I wanted to leave. So, yeah, that's the end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just felt like I should bring you more into my life rather than just doing challenges and all of it. Intentionally didn't mention the name of my school because I don't want 
my high school to be associated with that kind of stuff. It's a very good school that has molded me to who I am today. However, if you are curious about the school I went to and all of them, you can check my first ever YouTube video. I mentioned the school in one of the questions there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait for more story time, honestly. This is such a comfortable setting. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Till next time, bye! Now me and Mrs. Oompa Loompa Well, oh shit man, they took lights For real no, like, My phone is even low, that's true Even my mother will not slap If I go and I agree, God This has been like 5 years or 6 years ago Wow oh, let, me, let me not be angry Calm down, Sire Calm down